Hey, look, uh, I don't tell nobody what to do. You do what you want to do. Is your life. I I just, uh, I'm just going to give you an example of two incidents that's uh, sticking out, uh, that's sticking out with me. So there was a Detroit bus driver, uh, LeBert, uh, and he was complaining that somebody was coughing on the bus in Detroit and the man wasn't covering his mouth. Two days ago, that bus driver died, right? So I just had a, I just got off the phone with a personal, personal, uh, family member uh, who have people on her her other side of the family. She just lost a dad and a grandfather in the same day. One to COVID-19. So I needed to, to make a, a Walmart run yesterday. You know, just I just kind of wanted to get out of the house. I really hadn't been out the house. I really just been kind of staying in the house. I don't leave all, out of the, you know, I might go in the backyard or something like that. Or whatever. Um, so I just kind of uh, kind of chill out. Man, I pull up in in the Walmart. I pull up in the Walmart parking lot with gloves on, with the mask on, and I see a whole lot of folks that look just like me walking in and out of Walmart with their kids with no gloves. I didn't see nobody wiping their hands, hand sanitizer, no mask on, nothing covering up their face, nothing. So I went to the parking lot and I was actually uh, getting ready to go in. So I got, I was parked close to the door and I just started watching all these people come in and out of Walmart. Nobody, black folks, nobody had on masks. Nobody had on gloves. I said, you know what? I'm not going in. I got back in my, uh, uh, I put it back in reverse, back out of the parking space, and went on down to Lowe's, and it wasn't no, hardly nobody in there. And when I went in Lowe's, everybody in there, probably except for five people, everybody in there had on masks and gloves and was practicing social distancing. And I felt more comfortable and I felt safe in there. I'm going to let y'all know something. It's in the air. This is my opinion, my opinion, because how somebody go to a funeral in Albany, Georgia, and 29 people out of that church uh, have the virus and a lot of people, and, and, and that one, one or two funerals has turned Albany, Georgia into a hot spot, right? New York City, you can't see this stuff. So if you live in New York City and you out here walking around with no mask on or whatever, do what you want to do. We got doctors on this morning show every morning. We got Dr. MJ Colley. We got Dr. Uh, Dr. Green coming on. We had the Surgeon General uh, come on the show. We got all these people coming on the show giving you valuable information every single hour, twice an hour. And we're talking about finances and meals and all this kind of stuff. And if you don't have the discipline to get yourself somewhere and sit down, if you have everything that you need, stay in the house. I had a, a niece uh, to come and bring me something, and I had to text. Because you don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, right? Because people are human beings. They're naturally going to walk up to you and want to hug or whatever. And so you have to be very, listen, I am practicing social distancing. My son is here in the house. He's 18 years old. We don't touch. I don't get, he's, we're in the same house and we don't get within six or seven feet. If I'm sitting at the table, he sit on the stairs. If I'm sitting on the stairs, he sit at the table or whatever, you know, or, or, or whatever, you know, I just don't get all up in the space because, you know, we all been, I uh, had all them tested or whatever, you know, we all fine, but I'm just practicing social distancing, not letting him go nowhere. He got a car, you know, and uh, everybody that has lost a loved one, every single doctor, every single nurse that have lost somebody to this or whatever, 
My, I want to offer my condolences because I'm going to let everybody know on here. Right? You get that COVID-19, before you take your ass to that emergency room, you might as well go ahead and FaceTime and and uh, pull up to your mama house and wave at her and the wonder and your auntie and your cousins or whatever and tell everybody you love them just in case you don't make them. Because once you get in that emergency room and if you don't survive that, ain't no family members sitting around you. Ain't nobody able to come to the hospital to see about you. Ain't no hospital visitation to bring flowers and 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 whatever you want to bring up to the hospital. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You die alone if you die. If you go into uh get into a state where they have to sedate you and put you on a uh, a ventilator, you're alone. So the first thing they do, uh, from what I understand, is they make sure you have your cell phone where you can FaceTime your family members because they can't come to see you. So why go to Walmart or to the beach or to the party, a party, or go out somewhere and take that risk? Why? Because you don't want to say that. It ain't even been a good three weeks. God and bless you with a house. You got If you ain't got nothing else but some Clorox bleach, hell, you can go make you some Clorox water. 10% Clorox, the rest of the water, spray it and take it and wipe everything down that you need to wipe down and keep your house sterilized and take, spend half, spend some of your day cleaning and wiping everything, doorknobs, light switches, stop touching your face, do not touch your face, take some Neosporin every day, put it on your fingertip and go right there, right there, right there, right there, Neosporin. Listen to the information we're giving you on the radio. We're giving it to you. You got to listen to the morning show. Do not leave your house, folks. Stay out of Walmart. Walmart packed people coming in. I, I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go to Walmart today, and I'm going to stay in my car. I'm going to park right there in the front, and I'm going to film it. You would not believe it. I swear, man, there's some people don't believe that fat meat is greasy. This shit is real. Now, I'm telling you now. You can say I said it. If your ass go to the emergency room, your mama ain't coming. Your kids ain't coming. It ain't just old people dying. Right? It ain't. You in there by yourself. And if you don't make it out of that, why would you even put your family through that when you have the choice not to? Just because you want to run in Walmart and get something. If you do have to go, if you do have to go to Walmart or to the grocery store, take a sheet, take a pillowcase, tie it up around your face. All your kids got swimming goggles upstairs. Go get some swimming goggles. Cover up your eyes. It's in the air. Take the Neosporin. Put the Neosporin around your nose, around your nostrils. You got Neosporin. Everybody got them little emergency kits or whatever. The stuff next to the band-aids in your house. You got it. I know you got it because most of y'all got kids. Take your finger and put it right there. Right there. Take your vitamins. Vitamin vitamin D. Take, take your probiotic every day. Take your vitamin C every day. Right? I, I'll take you in the kitchen. I'll show you what you need to have. Or whatever. You got to... I'm telling y'all. You got to fight just to live. You got to fight to live. If you want to live, you have to fight to live. And then just a lot of things we just going to have to do right now. We just can't wake up every day and just know that we're going to make it through this life. And if you don't have Neosporin, you can use, thank you, uh, uh, thank you, Latoya. You can use Vaseline. Fellas, it's not a good time to trim your nose hairs. You need all of that hair in your nose to block everything. Right? Take your vitamins, exercise, stay healthy. I'm going to give you just a few things you need. Let's let's take a walk in the kitchen because uh, I didn't know that this many people was going to jump on here. This is like really serious. 
Listen. One of the things I take every day is black seed. They ran out of the oil, but they still got the, the black seed tablets. I got my little kit right here. Here's something else I take. This is an immune, uh, immune support. I put that under my tongue every morning. Every morning, right? I've been doing this before the co coronavirus. This stuff right here. Just take a picture of it, screenshot it, order this. Right? Really important. Selenium. Take a picture of this stuff. Get this stuff. Everybody that have allergy symptoms, make sure you take your little flow nays. You know, hit it, hit it. You're going to go outside. The pollen that's in the air is going to make you start sneezing and coughing. So you don't want your coughing to get real bad and, and you're sneezing and stuff. So go ahead and just take that. That's if you got, uh, you got allergy symptoms. Y'all need to, uh, I got a couple of other little things or whatever. This right here. Everybody need to have this in your medicine cabinet. 12 hours. This is serious. You must have this in your medicine cabinet. Because you get sick sometimes in just the first two days that'll save your life, the difference between life and death. You need to have this, okay? Here's something else that you need to have. Right here. Mucinex DM. So when I get off the radio on Fridays and I have to perform Friday night, I always take one of these because it gets all, rid of all of the mucus. And if you got a cough or whatever and your cough is bad, it's okay to double the dose. All right? According to Dr. Collier on the radio show, and if you want to double check, you uh, email Dr. MJ Collier that's on our radio show every morning. Every, you make sure you take, and, and for me personally, I'm not telling you to do this, I take a Mucinex DM once a week, even if I don't have no symptoms. And so if there's anything building up anywhere, um, crystal, I'm um, clear, right? Keep this. Just keep that. That's cold, flu, you know, sore throat. Just keep that in your medicine cabinet. You got to be ready, right? Hey, Bam. 1,000 milligrams vitamin C. Hit that every other day. You know, it's just certain stuff that you, that, you, that, you, that you got to have. Boom. I've been on all this stuff way before the coronavirus. Right? You have to, you have to take this stuff. And, uh, one, of the, one of the main things that you need to keep, everybody need to keep this. Keep some Aleve. Keep a leave in your medicine cabinet. Right? Bam. So I'm just telling y'all, but the, but the, but and, and this right here, right here, just a little bit on your fingertips. I'm telling you, you got to you got to fight to stay safe. Every day is a process just to be able to just stay safe and just to. To live, you got to fight just to live. You just can't wake up and say, I'm gonna live. You got to, it's steps to just having a normal life. And, 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 and uh, 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 the main thing y'all need to take, let me take y'all back here. I should have had all this stuff out. I, I apologize. But I'm telling y'all, I wanna keep everybody safe. Man, y'all, please make sure y'all take a picture of all of this stuff, right? Got my little, listen, this is so important. Make sure you take your lipo body. You can order this, take a picture of this. Dr. MJ Collier, lipo drops, probiotic. So important to have. Here's the main thing. That, that, that 
If you want to know why a lot of black folks get cancer and a lot of your family members and friends are dying from cancer, because with all the emissions in the air, we're not getting the vitamin D that you need. And the vitamin D produce uh, things in your body that fight things that causes cancer. And it said cure cancer. It fight things in your body that causes cancer. 5,000 milligrams. I take one every single day. Every single day. This is 5,000 milligrams of vitamin D every single day. One of the most important things that you can just, just start in your body. And this is just about, uh, you know, just about, about being healthy. And uh, it's a lot of stuff. You got to eat your meal. And there you go. Here go your omega oil. I'm telling y'all. Yes, uh, Vicky, uh, go to the website at LipoDrops. Contact Dr. MJ Collier. The uh, doctor, Dr. MJ Collier, is a Morehouse graduate. He's on. He's been on our morning show for 15 years. He's one of the best doctors in the country. He's your friend. He's a member of Alpha Phi Alpha, one of the smartest friends. He's one of my dearest friends. Him and his wife, Lois, they have their own practice. If not, just drive to Decatur. He right, not Decatur, Douglasville. He right there in Douglasville off the main exit, right next to the Home Depot, this light blue building. That's his whole practice. It's almost like you, you got these black doctors. It's him his wife, his kids, and some nurses and another doctor running that whole practice. So sometimes when I want to go to the doctor, if I'm in Birmingham, I would drive all the way to Atlanta to go and get the care that I need from Dr. Collier. And I, I, I feel real bad. I get emotional because, you know, that's my friend and he on the front line, him and his wife putting themselves at risk and they fighting every single day to keep us safe. And they like really putting it on the line. <clears throat> Every day. Shout out to all the doctors and all the nurses out there that's out there putting it on the front line to try to keep everybody safe. So take that advice, uh, use it, pray for our doctors and our nurses and all everybody that's providing. Uh, health care and medical care for everybody keeping us safe, putting their own lives on the line. A lot of them have uh, died and passed away uh, on the, fighting for us while we got this stupid ass president up here uh, don't know what he's doing and these uh, hillbilly ass governors in the south that, that it, it just I don't want to get political but you know what it is. Be safe. I love you. Take pictures of it. Go back, watch the whole video. Share the video. If you don't have these things in your house, get these things. You got a black doctor that can send this medicine to you. He will send this medicine to you, Dr. MJ Collier. Get this stuff in your system. Get your immune system built up. Cover up your face because that shit is in the air. Cover up your freaking face. If you're going to go to the grocery store, the drug store, or Walmart or somewhere, Cover up your face. I don't give a damn. A maxi pad with wings. Take the maxi pad and put a maxi pad inside of a bandana and take the strip off of it and stick it out there. Open up the wings and put that shit over your face to stay safe. Wear some swimming goggles. Put something over your eyes. It gets in your eyes. Put the neosporin in your nose. If you don't need anything, stay your ass at home. Stay away from family members. I love my mama. But I, I go to my mama's house and I don't go, I go up on the porch and she stay in the door. I have to see my mama's face. Once I talk to her for five or ten minutes, I'm gone. Social distancing. Stay on it. Share this video. Peace. Have a great day.